Karen Richardson. Well, I put my views in, in the paper. Uh, I I have missed any details if there were any presented on on just uh, the cost ratio versus the estimated number of users per cost of facility. What is the maintenance and operation of the facility? What's the life of the facility? Uh, what happens? when, you know, after five, ten years, and it's time to either improve or add features, and, you know, uh, I, you know, it'd be nice to hear some more details prior to to be some, being supportive of $4 million. <coughs> um, and and I, I will comment slightly on that, is that uh, the way the 4B system works is you can't go out and get engineering bids and get engineering studies until you adopt adopt it as a project. Um, and so without without adopting it as a project, uh, we're not we're not capable of going out and and acquiring engineering acquiring the design firms to do that. What's the difference between adopting a project and signing on to do a project? I'm not sure I understand. Um, I don't know, probably none, uh, it, which is one of the faults of the 4B, I, I think, is that you, know, you really can't come in and say, this is what I want to do. Um, and part of it, once you, once you make that statement or once you make that plan that this is what we're going to do, then you are obligated to do that. Right. You know, once it's all been voted on and unless, unless the 4B let's say the board said, oh yeah, that's what we think we want to do, but before anything has really ever happened, and they said, no, it's really not, then, then they have that, they can come back in and change their mind. But once it's, once uh, bids go out, then it's hard to change. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.